Hi, welcome to the GFI Malware Minute. My name is Tom Kelschner. The top scam of the week that we blogged about in the GFI Labs blog was a phony offer on Facebook that led to an executable file containing a Trojan. Viper detected as Trojan Win32 generic PAK Cobra. Christopher Boyd, our man in the UK, spotted this one. Facebook users were getting wall posts from compromised accounts messages in chat and Facebook apps that led to a phony error message. And that downloaded what appeared to be a photograph. But if they had Windows set to show file extensions, it was obvious that this was an executable file and not a graphic. Then there was something a bit new on the phishing front. The FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, which goes by the shortened handle of IC3, posted a notice that we blogged about, criminals using job applications for spear phishing. IC3 said the FBI was investigating cases in which malicious code intended to steal logins were sent in emails posing to re as responses to job postings. They said the phishing was the work of criminals engaged in ACH and wire transfer fraud. Many Twitter users saw a tsunami of free iPhone tweets during the week. The wave, which led to a variety of sweepstakes and survey sites, continued for several days. We found at least one Twitter user who suspected his account had been hacked to send out the spam. After a day or so, the URL shortening site bit.ly started filtering sites associated with the scam. Then on the rogue blog for the week, we had Windows U Utility Tool, which is in the Privacy Center family, and Windows Scan in the Defragger family.